pā mai ka hi hi o tamanui te rā ki te karoe hoko toko paua ka wauraki. Ka koe ro te huka ki o hapu ai ki pukaki. I rei rā tuna roa e noho ana. Ka heki a tuna roa ki waitaki, ka heki a tuna roa ki awa moko, ka heki a tuna roa ki waihao, ka wawa hi e mau i. Ko te hiku ki peku peku i rangi, ko te upoku ki peku peku i fiti. Nei nā tūri o tuna roa mihi a tunei a tihei maori ora. Tuatahi ki te atua, me whakakorari o tona ingoa, ngo wā katoa. Araki nui ki ruka, papatu anuku takatu nei, e te whare ei tu nei, te nakautau. I tēnei wā ka mamara mātou ngā tini aitua o te mautu. Hairiang ngā mati. Hairi ki te kai ngā tuturu o tō tatu matua. Hau ki atu rā ki Hawaii ki nui, Hawaii ki roa, Hawaii ki pāma mau. Hairi, hairi, hairi. Apati hono tātou hono tunga mati ki te hunga mati. Apati hono tātou hono tunga ora ki te hunga ora mō rei rā. Ki a koe, te tumuaki o te te hoka rakahau ārai whara. Hei, tēnā koe. He te kaikorero mai i a kanata. Tō, tēnā koe. Te rōpū rakahau rangatahi te nakautau. Rau rakatira mā. Ngā iwi o ngā mau tū. Ngā iwi rāwahi. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Nau mai hara mai. Ki Aotearoa. Ki te roki o ngā iwi, kaitahu kāti mamoi, waitaha, i a te wai paunamu. Nau mai hara mai ki ōtu poti, ki te kaeng o ngā hapu mai o tākou mei huirapa. Nau mai hara mai, ki te whari wānako o tākou. Ka nui te koa me te hara ki te kiti a kouta katoa i tēnei wā, kua tai mai tātou, ki te whakanui te kaupapa o tēnei wā, te... te nekeneki atu i mi aki nei, te whakai... Hekia o te hiahiatanga o ngā motoka o ngā rangatahi. E whakahirahira tēnei, tēnei mō te ora mō te whakapakari tīnana. He maharaue ngā mate o te aitua wakahere. Ko te tere, ngā tarikino, te waipiro, a heko heko tia, ene mia, nā ko nā tomo i mate ai o mātou rangatahi. Nō rei rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora. That was pretty lacklustre. Shall we try that again? Kia ora. Kia ora. Fantastic. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark Brunch, and I work for the Office of Māori Development as the Research Manager Māori for the University of Otago, and it's fantastic to see you all here today. That was a very brief welcome. This is traditional. In te reo Māori, or the Māori language, the first official language of New Zealand, to welcome you all here to this uh, symposium today. That was just a very uh, introductory welcome to acknowledge the spiritual realm that's around us, Ngā Atua. Also to acknowledge those people from this place and those who have passed away who have already gone on before us. But bringing it back to the living and acknowledging those people who are gathered here today. was a, a welcome to the um, Professor Hank Weiss of the Injury Prevention Unit Todd Lippmann from our um, speaker today from the Victoria Transport Policy Institute of Canada. Good to see you, Todd. Also, a special welcome to the team panel and a very special thank you to the members of the organising committee, the people who have actually gotten us all together to make this happen. A welcome to all the speakers who will be sharing their work over today, and a special welcome to those who are joining from overseas, especially those electronically. A welcome to the, those of you who are here to this part of New Zealand, to Aotearoa, to Te Waipaunamu, to the South Island, to the homes of the iwi or tribes, Ngaitahu, Kati, Mamoe, Waitaha. A welcome also to Otipoti, the Dunedin, to the home of the clans from the local marae, Arutako, Huirapa and Moiraki, further up the coast. A welcome to the University of Otago. The theme of this year's Adolescent Mobility Health Consortium Symposium is moving forward, decreasing car use among teenagers. And the government website tells us that motor vehicle crashes are a major cause of premature death, especially amongst younger, the younger age groups. Death, injuries and disability resulting from motor vehicle crashes inflict 
considerable pain and suffering on individuals, families and communities, as well on other road users, emergency services providers, health workers and others. We are also told that Māori are significantly more likely than non-Māori to die as a result of a motor vehicle accident. In 2007, the provisional age standardised road accident death rate was 9 per 100,000 for non-Māori and 22 per 100,000 for Māori, an increase from 19 per 100,000 in 2005. A newspaper report in 2012 stated that Kiwi teens are more likely to die young in car crashes or by suicide than in almost every other developed high income country with, with New Zealand's overall adolescent death rate second only to the United States. But road accidents are only part of the picture. Māori suffer greatly from other health disparities. Obesity, heart disease and diabetes are all great concern for Māori. We occur in these statistics to a high proportion. Part of the problem is caused by possibly suboptimal use of exercise, poor exercise habits. Part of the problem is caused by uh, that it takes some effort if the habit is to hop in a car and drive rather than walk or bike somewhere. Generation Y, the millennial generation, has many challenges. The car is also a status symbol. To be seen in a car is a sign of certain affluence. And peer esteem promotes some practices above others. So the issues are multifaceted. Māori understand this. Māori models of health may offer different strategies in changing some behaviours. Our health models are based on the idea of a holistic sort of approach to things. Western-based medicine has traditionally been more reductive in, in its way that it looks at things, while Māori have integrated mind, body, spirit and family. Mason Jury's Whare Tapa Whā model is an example of this, as is Rose Perry's Te Whiki, but both encompass more than just observable symptoms. For some, spirituality is just as important as medicine, family is just as important as pills. The engagement of families and communities as part of a habit shift is very important, I believe. We have a whakatauki or a saying, kotororo, kotokororo, kaurai tiwi, which says, with your basket and my basket, we can feed the people. And possibly only by working together will solutions be found. And this kind of forum promotes that idea of sharing ideas and possibly forming collaborations. Traditionally, a welcome is concluded with a waiata or song, and I would like to finish with a traditional song encompassing the saying that I just spoke about, which encompasses that idea of sharing collaboration and gathering together. Kaora e te iwi e Hono hono tia, hono hono tia Kaora e te iwi e E te kano te kōrere u tātou tīpuna Whai ati mātoraka, he orana mō tātou Paraphrasing the right reverend Manuhuia Bennett when he said, pursue knowledge for all our well-being I hope that you get a chance to pursue that knowledge at this year's Symposium, Norera, no mai haramai, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora mai tātou.